Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back or if it's the first time here, welcome. I really hope you enjoy this video as well as my channel. If you do, definitely do not forget to hit that subscribe button. So for today's video, we are going to be doing my February favorites to get ready with me as we normally do. Now, if you're new to my channel and you've absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, basically what I like to do is instead of talking about my monthly favorites, I actually apply them on my face for you guys because honestly, I find it way more helpful rather than talking about a product to actually show you how our performs and that way you can really see why I've been loving it throughout the whole entire month. So this is the look that I created. I did something like super easy and really just like fresh and great for every day. So I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Definitely let me know what you thought in the comments and let me know some of your favorite products for the month of February. As always, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already. So Without further ado, let's get into my February favorites. Get ready with me. So I'm first gonna start off with my skin. I'm gonna use this primer from First Day Beauty. It's the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Now I actually hauled this and a lot of you guys were wondering what I think of this product. I obviously really like it considering it's in my favorites. It's honestly just such a great primer to use before your makeup because if you have that problem where primers sort of like bunch up on your skin or pill whenever you start to apply your foundation on top, get a primer like this that's more like a moisturizer moisturizer because you will not have that issue with something like this. This primer instead just really makes a nice base for your foundation to sit on. It sort of just really moisturizes your skin, especially if you have dry skin, you will love this and it smells like coconut. So who's complaining about that? I'm definitely not. And you can see it makes my skin look so gluey. Okay, so as for the foundations, I actually have two favorites that I've been mixing together. One of them is the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. This foundation has been giving me a little bit of trouble throughout the month. I've been trying to wear it by itself like over and over and over again, and it just hasn't been looking as good as I remember it looking the first time that I wore it, which is super frustrating considering how freaking expensive this thing is. So I have been trying like mixing the foundation in with other ones to see if it makes any difference in the way that the foundation looks and it definitely does because I have found the most magical combination. This one over here from It Cosmetics, this is the Your Skin But Better CC Plus. I mean, do I even need to talk about this one because you guys know how much I'm obsessed with this product. It's my go-to everyday foundation and honestly, mixed with the La Mer, foundation it makes it that much better it gives it a little bit more coverage and it also gives it even more of a glow so i have just been really enjoying mixing both of them together i sort of do like a one-to-one -one ratio and it just looks beautiful so that's what we're going to be doing today of course so when i do mix foundations i like to use a little palette that looks like this so that i'm not wasting any product on the back of my hands i'm in the shade fair in the it cosmetics and Cream 03 in the La Mer foundation. And honestly, the mixture of these two smells so good because the It Cosmetics foundation smells like lemons. And then the La Mer foundation just smells like a really beautiful, expensive foundation. There's not really like a scent that I can pinpoint, but like when I smell it, that's like the first thing that I think of. And I'm gonna just pat everything into my skin. What I really like about this foundation combo also is that not only does it make my skin look really nice, it doesn't make it look too heavy or too cakey. Oh, I'm not really into very, very heavy makeup. I do like my makeup to be more on the natural side um, and I do like it when I wear foundation for my skin to show through and this definitely, definitely does that. It covers up my redness but it doesn't look like I'm wearing a mask. The one thing that I definitely realized with this like foundation mixture is that I definitely need to set it. Both of these foundations are very dewy, so they do transfer pretty easily if I don't set them down. So the powder that I've been using and that I've just been totally in love with this whole entire month is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and I got the shade number one fair. This is probably one of the best powders that I've ever tried for dry skin. It sets my makeup while still keeping the dewy finish that I like and it also doesn't make my skin look powdery. So I'm going to take some of this on my Real Techniques powder brush and I'm going to just set my whole face with this. And I do find that this powder also has a little bit of coverage to it which is nice. So especially since this is such a lightweight foundation it doesn't have much coverage in and of itself adding that a little bit of extra coverage with the powder is always good but it also doesn't add too much at the same time this is my bare minerals bare skin complete coverage serum concealer now i have spoken about this product quite a lot on my channel i have said time and time again it's one of my favorite concealers for every day because this is like a serum concealer i do find that it gives my under eyes a really hydrated look it does not look dry or cakey it's even on my like driest skin days and i've just been particularly enjoying it lately 
on my no makeup makeup days because honestly this month I have not really been into full glam. I've sort of just been going for very soft makeup looks and so I haven't really been going towards like my Tarte Shape Tape which I really like for those types of looks and instead I've been going towards the Bare Minerals Concealer which is just so perfect. This is why I love applying my favorites to my face on camera because you guys can see what I'm talking about. It totally covered up all like the darkness and purple undertones underneath my eyes but you see that like slight sheen that it gives my skin? It just makes your under eyes look so like healthy. So I'm using the same Charlotte Tilbury powder to set my under eyes. This powder also works so great underneath the eyes, which is another reason why I love it. Sort of like a nice all-in-one. So now I'm going to give my face a little bit of a break and I'm going to move on to the eyes. Now I actually went on Periscope right before filming this and I asked you guys what type of eye look you wanted to see me do and a lot of you said that you wanted to see like a peachy pink everyday very wearable eye look, which was actually perfect because this ColourPop eyeshadow was part of my favorites this month and this color right over here is called Kennedy. It's a really, really beautiful, very soft and wearable orange shade and I am going to be applying this all over my lid today. love applying this color either into my crease as like a transition shade since it is matte or just all over my lid and sort of just blend it upwards with no other eyeshadows. It's really quick, it's really easy and it has a really nice effect on the eyes. So I'm just going to take my finger and apply this color all over my lid. And the reason why I'm using my finger mainly is because I find that um, the finger does press on ColourPop eyeshadows a lot better than brushes. And now I'm gonna go into the synthetic fluffy brush from Morphe. This is the E14. I'm gonna grab more of the product and I'm going to start to blend this above my crease a little bit to bring this color up. Looks a little bit crazy now, but don't worry. We are going to blend it out with a clean brush, but you just want to get the color down. So now I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and I'm going to start to blend out the top edge. This is a very important step because you don't want this eyeshadow to look harsh or blocky at all. You really just want it to be a nice sort of smoky haze of color on your eye. So by blending it out, that's exactly what's going to happen. So do not forget that blending brush, guys. And there you go. So now moving on to another one of my favorite eyeshadows of the month. This is the Melt Rust Stack. The main reason why I really love these eyeshadows is because even though they are brown eyeshadows, they are not boring. They actually do have a little bit of like a special edge to them. Just generally for Melt, the quality of their eyeshadows are so spot on. Like the blendability, pigmentation, everything you'd want an eyeshadow to be. They're honestly so great and all their colors really apply just very rich to the eyes. This one in particular called Rot is like such an amazing deep dark brown shade it's so rich and pigmented and it really does give you that oomph that you're looking for when it comes to like a really deep dark color so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a really soft liner on my upper lash line I don't want anything too harsh because like I said this is going to be a very wearable look so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little winged liner brush this is 317 from Zoeva and I'm going to take the shades rust and rot and I'm gonna go between both of them so just get a nice mix of both of these colors and then I'm going to start to create a wing on my upper lash line. So I'm just going to start by pressing the eyeshadow right up against my lashes, right on the outer corner. I'm not going all the way towards the inner corner of my eye because I really want to keep the shape of the eyeshadow really elongated. And if I go into the inner corner of my eye, it's going to close off my eye just a little bit and I don't want that. So you can see how amazing these eyeshadows apply even as an eyeliner because they are so pigmented you really do get quite an impact even by applying it with a tiny little brush like this. So after I apply some eyeshadow on the outer corner, I'm gonna to start to flick it out a bit to create a wing. If you find that you have some trouble actually creating winged eyeliner, definitely try by using eyeshadow because honestly, it just makes it so much easier because eyeshadow is so easy to manipulate and to move around and to apply. If you make a mistake, it's super easy to wipe it away and I feel like it's just overall way less intimidating than going in with like an inky black gel or liquid eyeliner. So I'm actually going to apply a little bit more of the Kennedy eyeshadow with the same brush we used to apply it right underneath my lower lash line. So my favorite mascara this month has definitely been the Tarte Lifted. This is a really great everyday mascara because it isn't actually black. It is a blackened brown and honestly I never ever ever went towards brown mascaras because I always wanted my lashes to look the darkest that they possibly could but I really feel like this honestly because it is such a dark brown looks 
looks very close to black and it still is a little bit of a softer version of a black mascara so it just really is great for every day when you're not wearing too much makeup but you still want to define your lashes this is awesome and it also doesn't flake or smudge because it is waterproof and it also makes my lashes look awesome. So next, let's bronze up my face. So this is my Becca Perfect Skin Mineral Powder Foundation in the shade Bamboo. Now this is actually not supposed to be a bronzer. It is a powder foundation. The reason why this works so well as a bronzer is because it's not too warm. If you personally find it really difficult to find a, a bronzer that doesn't make you look red, then definitely try using a face powder that's just a few shades darker because it'll give you a little bit more of a natural bronze look. And this one from Becca is really, really beautiful has almost a bit more of like a yellowy undertone which really just complements my skin. Now I actually don't have a favorite blush of the month so I'm just going to use this blush from Jouer because it's really pretty and peachy and I think it'll go really nice with the eyes. This is the shade Bloom. I'm going to just apply this on my Morphe M570 just to the apples and my cheeks and blend it backwards. I find that when I do apply a lot less to my eyes I love applying a little bit more blush than I normally do. I find it just looks super pretty and really fresh. So I like applying a little bit more blush on eye makeup days like today. Pretty, right? So now for my highlighter today, I'm gonna to be taking this Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Big Powder in highlight number 01. This is actually little sample size. Now this is totally because of you guys, because in my favorite highlighter video that I did, I think it was more at like the beginning of the month, a lot of you guys said that I would love this highlighter. And the funny thing is, is that I actually already had in my collection, but I haven't used it in the longest time. So I dug it out since so many of you guys recommended it and I have been using it ever since and I love it, especially if you like that glow from within type of look this is so perfect because it's not shimmery or sparkly but it still gives you that really beautiful glow and I'm going to pop this right on the tops of my cheekbones like look at that and I actually like to be pretty generous with this stuff as you can see I'm basically applying it all over my cheek I sort of want a really glowy look today so I'm just being pretty generous with it all right, so now I'm just gonna go off camera and finish off my brows because I don't have a favorite brow product of the month and I just wanna get them out of the way. You guys have seen me do my brows plenty of times, so I will be right back. I am back now with my brows done, so now let's move on to the lips. My favorite, favorite lip product this whole entire month has definitely been the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liners. Oh, wow. Like these are so good. If you love a matte lip, but you don't want to wear a liquid lipstick because you find that they are way too drying for you, this is going to be your new best friend because since this is a pencil you can use it both as a lip liner or you could use it to completely fill in your lips as like a lip color and fortunately the plump line collection does not have like a neutral nude that would go with the eye look that i have right now so instead i'm going to do a bit of like a lip combo and we're going to see how it turns out so i'm going to take the shade white russian and it's like a really 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 light kinky nude okay this is obviously way too light it's like totally washed me out which is exactly what i expected so now i'm going to take a little bit of the shade undercover which is like a brownie nude and I'm going to outline my lips very lightly with this okay now I look crazy but I'm not done yet I'm going to take the little brush on the other end and sort of just blend that together so it's not so harsh so also not done just yet I'm gonna take this hourglass this is their lip stilo in the shade believer now that I'm thinking about it I have been wearing them quite a ton so I definitely do recommend these they are so beautiful and very creamy just really great like everyday lip products to pop on especially since they are in a pencil form I feel like they're super easy to apply so I'm just gonna apply this on top because this is more of like a neutral nude and it's gonna add a little bit of a sheen as well my lip is on and all of my February favorites are on my face. This is the finished look. So that is it for my February favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely let me know what you thought in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!